so good morning uh, this is the derivation of uh, specific speed of the turbine this is a very very uh, important problem in uh, Kerala Technical University okay so I will show you the question paper I will, I will show you the question paper yeah okay so you can see this is May uh, May 2019 question paper question number 4 you can see question number 4 so define specific speed of a turbine okay see question number this 4b define specific speed of a turbine and derive an expression for the same this is the question okay so uh, this is a very very important question first we will see the equation so this is the equation of specific speed you can see this one this uh, 18 you can see 18.28 this this is the equation this is the important equation of specific speed ns is equal to n root p divided by h raised to 5 by 4 okay next is we will derive this equation yeah first you have to write the uh, overall efficiency equation of overall efficiency we know what is the equation of overall efficiency overall efficiency equation is equal to sp divided by wp what is sp sp means shaft power then what is wp w wp means water power okay so overall efficiency is equal to p so here p represents the shaft power divided by water power so the equation of water power is rho gqh by 1000 okay so from this equation you have to develop a relation of p so just cross multiplication you will get the value of p so p is equal to overall efficiency into rho g q h by thousand then you write a relation between p so this is p is proportional to q into h where other values are constant okay so p is proportional to q into h so this is the the second equation then now let uh, d is the diameter of actual turbine n is the speed of actual turbine u is the tangential velocity of the turbine ns is the specific speed of the turbine and v is the absolute velocity of water then we must write the relation between the absolute velocity tangential velocity and head on the turbine so the relation is u proportional to v so tangential velocity is proportional to the absolute velocity where v v is absolute velocity is proportional to root of h h is head under which the turbine is working okay so from this two relation you can write u proportional to root h so see the uh, u proportional to v where v proportional to root h so that means this you can equate u with the root h so u proportional to root h so this is the third equation okay so second equation is p proportional to q into h and the third equation is u proportional to root h okay then next is uh, the equation of u tangential velocity u is pi dn by 60 okay so you can write u proportional to uh, pi and 60 are constant so u proportional to dn okay so here in the third equation you can see u proportional to root h okay you so here u proportional to dn so you just uh, uh, see the lhs so both lhs are equal u okay so you can write root h is equal to dn okay root h proportional to dn you can see root h proportional to dn and from this you can find the value of d okay d proportional to root h by n so this is equation number five then the discharge through the turbine is given by q is equal to discharge q is equal to area into velocity then area you can write area proportional to b into d okay so where b is called the width so here we can write b proportional to d so then replace b with d so d multiplied by d so it is d square so in this you can see the value of a area is equal to d square 
then velocity is proportional to we have already seen that velocity is proportional to root h so you can see velocity is proportional to root h so you have to substitute these two values okay to here okay so th this equation so the a value of area is d square and the value of velocity is root h so that means q is proportional to d square into root h okay then you know what is the value of d so the value of d is root h by n so you have to substitute the value of root h by n here so the equation is q proportional to root h by n the whole square into root h okay so you can see so in this equation you can see q proportional to so this is q so q proportional to root h by n the whole square into root h so after squaring so root h into root h that means h divided by n square into root h okay so h raised to 1 plus h raised to 1 by 2 that is h raised to 3 by 2 okay divided by n square so q proportional to so q proportional to uh, q proportional to h raised to 3 by 2 by n square then you know what is the equation of power we have a developed a relation of power so power is equal to q power proportional to q into h q into h okay initial equation okay from overall efficiency so power is power is proportional to what is the value of q q is h raised to 3 by 2 by n square into h so you can write p is proportional to uh, h raised to 5 by 2 divided by n square then for removing the constant of proportion uh, this proportional sign you have to multiply with a constant of proportionality that is called k so p is equal to k into root of sorry k into h raised to 5 by 2 divided by n square okay then uh, specific speed so spe uh, in the case of specific speed the what is the value of p p is a unit and what is the value of h head is again a unit then the speed of the turbine uh, is called a specific speed of the turbine so substitute the values of p and h in this equation and you will get the speed you will get the value of speed so the, uh, in this equation power p is equal to 1 is equal to k into h means 1 1 raised to 5 by 2 divided by n replace n with the ns when power is equal to 1 and h is equal to 1 speed becomes ns so ns square so in this from this equation you can write ns square is equal to k okay so you must uh, substitute this equation k is equal to ns square this equation to here this equation so p is equal to the value of k is n square into h raised to 5 by 2 divided by n square so in the, from this equation you can find the value of n square and in this value you can find take the square root you will get the value of n s okay so n root p divided by h raised to 5 by 4 so this is the equation this is the equation of specific speed okay so here the question is define specific speed of the turbine and derive an expression so here we are actually deriving the expression then the definition the definition of specific speed so here in this problem you can see if power is equal to 1 h is equal to 1 the speed is equal to specific speed okay so that is the uh, definition so here uh, the specific speed is defined as uh, the speed of a turbine it is actually the speed of a turbine in which this is important identical in shape geometrical dimensions then blade angles gate opening all the details with the actual turbine but of such a size that uh, it will develop unit power when working under unit head okay so this is actually identical with actual turbine but it will develop unit power when working under unit head so that speed is called a specific speed it is denoted by the symbol ns in it, then the significance of specific speed and the Im importance of specific speed this is actually used for comparing the different types of turbines okay with the help of this we can compare the different uh, type of turbines as every type of turbine has different specific speed then in mks unit system unit power is taken as one horsepower and unit head as one meter but in si units unit power is taken as one kilowatt and unit head as one meter then i will i will explain the significance also the significance of uh, the specific speed is the it plays an important role for selecting the type of turbine which type of turbine we are we are using we will be we can uh, the turbine selection that is very very important is it a Pelton turbine or Francis turbine Kaplan or a propeller turbine this actually depends upon the value of the specific speed so here if the specific speed value is say uh, 100 then the turbine will be a Francis turbine okay if for example if the uh, if the specific speed will be say 20 then the turbine will be a Pelton wheel with a single jet 
so if the turbine if the specific speed will be say 300 then the uh, the turbine will be kaplan or propeller turbine so with the help of this specific speed we can select the which type of turbine and another one the performance of a turbine can be predicted by knowing the specific speed of the turbine so these two details are the significance of the specific speed okay so you must uh, write this uh, question and the answer in your notebook thank you